Hi, it's Darren here, uh, aka Smart Sheet Guru. Today I'm going to show uh, how I figured out why I kept receiving this um, message, row having key not found when using the AppSheet webhook API um, with a Smart Sheet data source. So I was trying to edit a row through the AppSheet API, and I kept receiving this error. I'm running this in Postman here, um, and you can see this message: row key having uh, Solaco incorporated not found. So if I go to my AppSheet app here. You know, we see your uh, lead name. That's the key. Okay. Um, you know, there's no other other key checked here. So um, clearly, you know, this is the key. If I go to the view data, here's the key right here. Okay. So it's really puzzling why when I run this. I get the error. You know, this key is not found. Okay. So what I did, what I found out is that if you're um, editing, deleting, or finding even a row in um, AppSheet with that's using a smart sheet data source. Not only do you have to have the uh, key row or, or key column for the row um, as marked in Smart Sheet and App Sheet, which in this case is the lead name, but you also have to have the row ID of the of the row in Smart Sheet. So when I add the row ID and I send the request. There we go. I edited it. So lead type strategic, just like I have here. If I were to change this to uh, tactical lead type, and I send that. There we go, updates. And you can see here as I, there we go. It's smart sheet. There we go. Change the tactical. Okay. So the the uh, way I found this is I use the find action here, um, uh, which is part of the uh, which is an action in the app sheet API. So when I send that. When you find it with uh, no um, row information in the JSON, you get a list of all the rows in the data source. And so I said, okay, well, if I, for an example, I'll just copy this row. And then I inserted it in here. I did my find. And wow, you know, it worked. Okay. So if I were to take away everything but the row key, and there, see, I don't, I get a blank response back. So I found that very interesting. And so what I did is I just went through and started taking rows out. Um, and, and what it turned out to be is if I took out the row ID, um, I would get this error. And if I put the row ID back in, then then it found it just fine. So if you're doing any work um, over the AppSheet uh, API calls and you're using a SmartSheet data source, Make sure you not only have the key 
key column as marked in app sheet but you also need that row id uh, from smart sheet so, i hope this is helpful i spent a lot of hours uh, trying to figure out <laughs> why my api calls were were failing uh, and i knew i was i had all the um, right ids and um, and uh, access keys working because you know i was getting a response um, also, if, if I tried an add action, I was able to add rows to the API, but I couldn't edit, I couldn't find, I couldn't delete. So I'm really happy that I found that I need this row ID as well. So keep that in mind. I hope this uh, saves you some time. And uh, if you like these little tutorial videos, I ask you to subscribe and like them. And if you're interested in... Um, working with me on any Smartsheet, AppSheet, uh, Google Sheet, Google App Script projects, um, you can reach me at my website, uh, smartsheetguru.com, and send me a message there. Thank you.